You and I are individuals. We have our own thoughts, feelings, and perceptions. Heck, you probably have your own thoughts already about this very presentation. Today, we're going to be talking about individuality, what it really means to be an individual, and how in today's modern world, individuality is slowly under attack. And there are certain obstacles in way of true happiness and self-fulfillment that each individual deserves. What does it mean to be an individual? This is a question that has been pondered for centuries by philosophers, politicians, and everyday people. Individuality is an important facet to moving through life and feeling purposeful in everyday behaviors. We can take a page from our very own constitution, our Bill of Rights, where Thomas Jefferson famously defined that each individual by right of birth has certain unalienable rights, most importantly, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, this last bit is where we often fall short in today's world. The pursuit of happiness is hard to come by, and there are certain devious obstacles that are set in place by our very own society that confound and limit people to achieving their own fulfillment and exploring their true passions. Now, we have defined success, but more so how capable as well as how meaningful an individual is in society in almost a pyramid structure. At the very top, we have monetary success, money. How much zeros you have at the end of your bank account is a definer of if you can achieve happiness and how much happiness you really deserve. This is also followed by recognition and status. We are always wanting to achieve more, have more, and be recognized and move up in the social ladder of society. These structures are put in place, and this one limiting definition of success is almost like a prison. It limits people from experiencing true happiness, and many individuals, including myself, has felt the limiting aspects of this. When we look at where this all starts, it can be tied back to our education system. I myself am a student, plagued by certain expectations and having to follow a social timeline to reach certain goals and aspirations, whether that is a 4.0 GPA, a certain SAT or ACT score. I am constantly, as well as many other students all around the world, trying to meet up to specific expectations and standards, only to what? Go on later in life and follow that very same pyramid, trying to achieve more and more and more, all for what at the end of the day? Nothing. Nothing of meaning. We can look to prisoners round. In this painting, you can observe prisoners in a circle, blindlessly following one another. The prisoner in front has his head down, but is following in the footsteps of the one of the other. The walls are dark and closed in. Little light is coming through in this painting, and this is a perfect representation of the everyday individual's life in today's modern society. Again, we are following that social timeline. We are thinking that we need to meet certain expectations as well as certain achievements without really taking a break, looking around, and actually experiencing the life around us. We are confined, and we fall into a social trap really a rat race, round and round and again. And it encapsulates all of us in this very room. We all feel it, and it's happening to us on a daily basis. Now, is there a remedy to this, or is there an explanation of people exploring their true passions? When we look at history and our most important innovations, as well as our most important innovators, many of them were driven by their passions as well as not limited by the confounds of what society expected of them. Take, for instance, Nikola Tesla, a famous Serbian scientist. He grew up poor, born in modern-day Croatia, and his father was a Serbian Orthodox priest. Tesla embraced a life of poverty and piousness, and when he went on to get a degree in engineering and eventually immigrate to the States, he was driven by one thing in particular, innovation and more so his passion to make innovation for the betterment of man. Tesla's innovations led to some of the technology in this very room, the very lights that illuminate me, as well as the remote in my hand. Tesla's innovations lit up the world, and his passion for innovation was lit up by his own drive to push himself further in life. 
not based on achieving that pyramid of success. In many cases, Tesla achieved the opposite. Many of his patents were stolen, and he never reaped the financial benefits of his reward. Therefore, the monetary benefits were already thrown out the window for many cases for Tesla. Status and recognition, Tesla rarely achieved many of these things. Some of you in this room might not even know who Tesla is. However, this man was driven by his passion for innovation, and none of this ever stopped him from continuing to pursue further heights. One of my favorite quotes by Tesla is, I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. This perfectly encapsulates the message of this very talk, as well as the general message that Tesla was trying to send. Tesla was driven by passion and was never distracted by those that tried to reap the benefit of his very passion. He had drive and innovation beyond the confounds, and he had hurt in his heart that society, as well as other members of society, did not feel the same. Now, the grimness of this situation is real. We can look to one of my favorite books. Richard Taylor, a famous English philosopher, states the reality of many of our lives. Human beings, without making any slight difference to our world, die and decay like any animal. Unfortunately, many of us in this room don't feel that we make meaningful change as well as any meaningful contribution to society. Again, we're caught in this social trap, going round and round, prisoners of our own expectations and pressures, and not ever really taking a step to look around and realize our own true drive. But there is a remedy to this. We have to simply go out seeking our passion, truly seeking our passion without the bounds of what is expected of us is the only way to get rid of this social paradox. I myself have had an experience of abandoning something that I thought I needed, mainly meeting that pyramid of success, not pressured by my family's expectations for status or recognition or eventually financial benefit for the future career that I aspire to. My passion is using my voice. That's why I'm here today. And I have been able to realize several things through this journey of simply going out and flying like I'm on a little red carpet and seeking the things that I want. This is up to you as well. You have the potential to challenge the norm. And that is the very answer to today's paradox. You simply have to challenge and say no. Say no to the things that are obliged to you. Say no to the things that you feel pressured to do. If you don't want to do something, it is okay to say no. This is something that can be very scary. And I completely recognize the fact that many of us in this room will not have the freedom to do this all the time. But once in a while, take the opportunity to explore your passion, unadulterated and unaffected by the pressures put on you. Like Tesla, go out and seek innovation in your own life and realize your own potential as an individual. You deserve this. And recognizing that you deserve this is the first step. Saying no is the second one. And hopefully, you will have the opportunity to pursue things that you never even imagined. Reach heights that you never thought were achievable before, as well as realize passion in its truest form. Thank you.